as a human being, I can't do anything. And the doctor said they can't do anything for me. And if I don't go for chemotherapy, um, and it, what is going to happen? You know, a lot of people say to me, you know, if you go for chemo, you, you actually, your body needs to be strong because that really takes a lot from you. And if you are weak, you won't make it. So I didn't want to go that way. And I realized that, you know, this, this atmosphere is just something here. I couldn't, I, I wanted to stop and I couldn't stop shaking. And I was looking to my left and I just saw Pastor Chris came. And I felt the anointing and when he, when he stood by me and he breathed, softly breathed, just over me. I was, I was, felt, you know, I felt softly. It was just like a soft breeze that just came over me. And I was still lying with those paper of colon cancer and disease and all that in my hand. And I heard the Holy Spirit say, you, you have to let go of that paper. And honestly, I can do anything. I can do anything now. I can lift up my legs. I can fasten my shoes. I can just, you know, go like that and fasten my shoes. I couldn't do that. I couldn't, you know. So I just live life as I felt, you know, life stopped for me. I live life in abundance. They say that they discover something which is very dangerous, which is can lead me to be blind in two weeks. So. The following day, they say they are going to drain some water on my spinal. From that day, Pastor, I never woke again. The pain that I was feeling, it was unbearable. I cannot compare with anything the pain I feel, I felt by that time. And I developed a heart disease because of that situation. Every day I used to cry and cry. There was no solution. The day the man of God pray for me. It was an awesome day. When he touched me, I feel, I feel hot and cold in my body and I was shivering. I couldn't control myself. So I take that anointing and at the, at the same time, I heard a big voice say, run! <laughs> and I ran and I was, I was unstoppable. It is amazing. Because I didn't re receive only healing myself. I take the healing out there in the world. I go back to the doctor. I was so excited. I couldn't wait to go there at hospital. The doctor did not recognize me. He think that maybe when he, when he saw me, he's, he think that maybe it's, he, he, I've got a twin. Then I say, doctor, how are you, doctor? Trabat? And he say, it's you and he fainted down <laughs> I say what and he fainted I am healed look at me I am healed and then when Pastor Chris came in for a different atmosphere and the man of God moved by the power of God. And he just spoke and he just pointed and people were healed. They were laying on the floor and just, you can feel God's presence through the man of God, the master priest. It was like a higher level where, where God is moving. So many that was delivered today, so many that was healed today, they all walked away free. And the atmosphere was, was amazing and filled with the whole spirit.
young lady, your free life. Just free. Get it, young lady. Just dancing is very, very, very touch, touch my heart. And to see so many miracles in a few times is incredible. You see, your healing is perfect before God because Jesus has done it. Your health is perfect before God because Jesus has done it. Your prosperity is perfect before God because Jesus has done it. You must voice it. Say, I'm active for Christ. My body is active for Christ. My legs are his legs. He moves through me. They will never be lame. My hands are his hands. He walks through me. My hands will never be paralyzed. My eyes are his eyes. He sees through me. He looks through me. These eyes will never be blind. My whole body belongs to Christ. And is active for him now. My body is active for Jesus now. I will never be sick again. 